Hello and welcome to another episode of Gaming with Zane. We are finally, finally getting to declare war on Lan Na and the Khmer. They've been a pain in our side. Lan Na has gotten way too big, all because I made some mistakes with my tribute to the Ming. They got mad and said, "Off with me! I do not want your stuff." So uh, we have finally got their trust back up to thirty, and we're able to wait and get them to have me as a tributary, and now we are all built up and ready to go and fight the Khmer and Lan Na, so let's jump into this battle. They're running away because they are scared, as they should be. Our agent in Lan Na was discovered, of course it was. Uh, we still have to wait until we can do that. Oh yes! Stack wipe! First go! Let's merge them together. Just don't want them being caught off guard. And let's go to Angkor. So that we can have... Uh, they have... Sure, we'll give you some money. Um... That's the only fort they've got? That in their capital? That's great. So where are they going? Where did their army go? They're running away. I should make it clear to the rest of my allies that I wish to have all the territory. Because an ally has already claimed it, that's fine. Uh, one other. Uh, that ally has claimed it. <clears throat> that's alright. Okay. Yashikaga are doing things. Let's move to Champasak, and we will probably split in half for this because we've got at least no one in the area. It is an immediate threat to a scandal at the court. Is anyone really surprised? Sometimes a scandal would erupt in the royal court and would upset a monarch to the point where most diplomatic activity would come to a standstill until, until things quieted down a bit. Take the blame and move on. No. Yeah. Is anyone really surprised because I'm a babbling buffoon? I guess something good came out of that. Toward an agent from Khmer, they are quickly... Oh, but we have gotten Udong down. Where are our boats? Boats are way over here, when it would be better for you to, instead of protecting trade, hunt for enemy fleets in the South China Sea. Is it an attack? Yes, it is, but it's not that big a deal. So we have occupied all of those. They are rebuilding an army, so I should probably bring them together in an attempt to squish that army. So let's come down. Uh, we can't get a new military military leader. That's unfortunate. Bengal has announced me as a rival. That's kind of okay. Army reforms. Go with the reforms. Ignore the reform ideas. I think going with the reforms is the right move. That is just more points. Our truce with Ava has ended. They won't accept us as a, a friend anymore. Or at least not at this very moment. Uh, let's split them in half. One can go there. That is a funny half. After that is siege, we will have to... I guess not. You can go there. We will go ahead and siege down all of... Khmer. Where are they sending their troops? Into... Lan Na territory.
They are. That's very good. Lana refuses. You you really don't have to help there. You should really just attack. Occupied by the Kamai. Because they are up there doing things. Trying to knock Meng Yang out. Let's give you troubles with your conversion. And as soon as we have occupied everything here, we will turn and go against Lana. Our trading in tropical wood. I think we will go to Ayutthaya to regroup. Tremangus 3. Very nice. Takmao is done. Let's go to Ayutthaya with you. Where are our boats? Are they being silly about the whole hunt? thing. Conversion successful. Very nice. So every province is now Buddhist. We've occupied the place. So let's send them to Ayutthaya. We will go ahead and send you there and you to Suktai, I guess. So after that, if my boats can catch them, may not be able to. Where are they going? Coast of An Am, up. We will see if we can catch them. I kind of doubt it. Sunda has announced Ayutthaya as a rival. That's interesting, but kind of out of the scope of uh, our achievement that we're trying to earn. So that needs just a few men. Let's go ahead and go up to Chai Rai. Chai Chiang Rai. We got all of Kamai's boats. Let's move into the Irrawaddy Delta. They are working on knocking them out, and they are doing a decent job of it. But it's not like Mon Yang is actually helping with this. Uh, they were able to get an army together. But we have to do a bit of sieging down to finish it off. Be interesting, Lan Ziang may fall out. No, their enthusiasm is still high. There's that. Let's get Nan. And can we go to Twangu? Yeah. Yes, I would guess we will give you tribute. So, Mon Yang, you've got better stuff that you could be doing. So just sieging something down. You guys can move there. Of course, you're not going to siege that down. Lan Xiang has the right idea. So where are you going? Moving to Ava. They're trying to siege that. Ava is under siege. Let's attempt to start here.
So that one is done. Well, that is a bit insane and useless. Move there. The Navy is under attack, all right. So we are squishing boats. Let's help with that siege. Where are you going? So it looks like they are about to join up. Nope, they decided against it. Come on, tick. Nope. Oh, they caught me. I wasn't paying attention. I don't, I don't think that we'll be able to get there in time. I guess we'll see. No, we've lost it. I'm pulling out, preferably Twangwu, and you can hold firm. But that's good. So everyone's meeting up here then. Is this the, uh, the battle we're going to have? Merge everyone up and move here. Political refugees. Perak gets settlement of political refugees. Uh, development cost is down. Production efficiency is up. Send them back. Ming's opinion comes up. and we can't, it's, The legitimacy doesn't really matter to us. We've got, at least not right now, Ming feels much better about us now that we are a tributary state. Uh, let's do the development and really it's the production efficiency. Okay, so we somehow got a river crossing. Though I didn't say anything about that before. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't say anything about it. Alright, so they got that. We desire unrest, okay. Where do we go next? Let's talk to Lana. They are not as far down as 87%. I want your capital. And I want to hmm, take war reparations from you. Just winning against them is going to do a fair bit of damage. Let's look at the culture real quick. That is Northern Thai, which is not necessarily part of my culture groups, at least not yet. That will be a huge blow to them. But I think with the war reps and taking Pegu, yeah, that's everything. And who all's upset about this? Lan Nang Mai. They don't really matter. No, it would be nice to take a bit more money from them. Because those are three very valuable provinces. And I can start 
incorporating them right away. Can't ask them to revoke cores. And I'm definitely not going to help Lan Xiang. They're too large to be a vassal, and that also, that honestly wouldn't work that great anyway. So let's uh, let's send that. To, they would not accept that. Well then, I guess let's keep at it. They have what one more territory that needs to be sieged down. Ah. Uh, We can't exactly stay on top of them, I don't think. Let's go ahead and pull off a couple of them to siege down there. Uh, it looks like they're going to do it, so no. Go to Mon Yang. And let's also pull off a couple to go to Mong Pai. So the question is, do we hunt down these armies? If we hunt down Khmer, they will be through and finished and completely done. So Khmer is going to Mong Pai. So let's hunt them down. Well, I thought that someone was going to Pagan behind us, but no. They are going to there next. That is as far as I can get. Let's detach the siege and move there then. Tyrannical nobles. Uh, no, we're not losing the tax base. But I'm sure there's something that we can do to accommodate you. Just call a diet. It's keeping our manpower coming in right now is pretty useful. So now that is only a two and honestly keeping five thousand around which is about what we have anyway. We have occupied Bagan. Let's consolidate nearby them. Trade dispute, Bengal refuses, that's fine. We have occupied another place. Everybody's moving there. Where did they go? Let's uh, merge up. That's very nice. Little concerned about walking away without being able to see them. We're going to give it a shot. The Fiat Separatists do what? No, that is not acceptable. I wish it would have told me when they crossed the border. Where'd their army go? They've got a few men left. They appear to be sieging that down. We will go ahead and grab their last province then.
Yes, we will give them truce with Champa has expired. They are going to where? There. That went to Lan Xiang. Well, we we won't be giving that to Lan Xiang. Mai wants peace. So let's come down and siege this back. Relations improved with Lan Xiang, sure. Where did their army go? It's, it's somewhere. Are both of them willing to give up now? No. Stubborn. I guess I could have used the uh, the war taxes thing, and I didn't. Oh well. So we've got another leader, right? Yeah. That might help with that. The siege is over. Wonderful. Let's talk to you, and you will accept that. Oh, that's too bad we got caught, didn't we? Uh, let's start making cores. Corruption's growing. And let's talk to you. Sue for peace. And right there. Uh, more people are concerned about that. Including Ava. So Ava there is concerned about my aggressive expansion, but would no longer accept alliance simply because I am at war. That's kind of okay. I'm still going to do it. 33, we're at 76 there. We will humiliate you and ask for money. And money, 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 money. Uh, not enough money. You may no longer be friends with Lana. See how we like that. That gives me 36%. My current overextension is 47. It'll be risky, but I think it'll be okay. We're going to do it. And just like that. Conquest against Angkor. And we're still fighting rebels. We really do not care about these rebels. In fact, we would like them to remain alive. Come to Ayutthaya. And... We'll make these cores. No mission accepted. Uh, remove Poseidon from the map. Manpower recovery speed. Diplomatic reputation. That's really it's doable, but it's not special. I'm kind of down for removing Poseidon from the map. I think that might be what we go for. Now clearly we need to wait until our overextension comes down because it is, as it says, dangerously high. But it shouldn't be that big an issue. Most of these are going to come out at about the same place. Oh no, don't. Lana is no longer, no longer considers me a rival. Just uh, retreat. Retreat, don't kill them. 
Lana is no longer a valid rival. Why is no longer a valid, valid rival? We won, even though we didn't want to. But uh, look, Diviet has come back. And now, you guys, I uh, will definitely not be helping you again. Their opinion of me is dropped considerably because of aggressive expansion. Mm. My diplomatic diplomatic reputation is low. Why is that? Look at me, low because of overextension and low karma now. How low is my karma? Pretty bad. Lana is not a rival. Inheritance. Uh, we will rule in favor of the disciple. That will help our karma just a little bit. We will revoke our embargo. But uh, we should fabricate a claim there. And that's as far as we can go. So we have almost a full state here, which we will accept. Uh, they are Khmer, they're not an accepted culture. How far along? 68 months. That is going to reach its cap before we can do anything about it. So let's, uh, wow, we're so far ahead. So no, let's, let's go this way. So our golden era is helping out with some of this. Still have quite a while, 68 months. I guess let's get our diplomatic reputation up and land maintenance modifier down. We'll still have plenty saved over when the time comes around. if their liberty desire has dropped or not. Uh, oh, and the monastic orders. Now I want land, now that it is no longer prudent. Uh, Udong have a large tax base. 13, 12, 16, 13. Angkor does, and that's kind of fitting. We will give it to the monastic order. <coughs> For anyone that doesn't know why that is fitting, uh, the territory that this is named after, there's a huge temple called Angkor Wat. It literally means uh, temple city in Khmer, and you can actually see it right there on the map. That is Angkor Wat, it is in Cambodia. It's, uh, it's very breathtaking to go to. But it, it is a huge temple complex and uh, it was at one point the largest city in about mm, the 1200s. Uh, so yeah, it was the largest city in the world at that time believed to have about a uh, well over a million people in population in the surrounding area so I've got two free diplomats just sitting here what can we do with them uh, I guess we could continue to build our spy network on our neighbors so we can take the next places right around in here 
push the Khmer into the coast. Ming has an increased tribute, that's fine. What is, so a Yutian particularist in Mo Men. We are still making a bit of money. So split them in half, we'll go to Mo Men. We have Cambodian separatists, which is kind of a big deal. Lan Na separatists in one place and Pegu separatists, so they're all at least in the mainland. But we will go ahead and send one to Angkor. So with this, can we increase the size of our military? Yes, we can quite a bit. Anyway, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. That was a nice, fun war. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, marital bliss. Ooh, a level two skill for half price. I think we may do that at this point. Let's go ahead and grab him up. So yeah, that is basically the same thing, but getting extra monarch points. Lovely. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and we will see you in the next episode.